Welcome to Reading the Word with Luther for August 27th. I'm going to read to you today from Mark chapter 8, verses 1 and 2 in the Revised Standard Version of the Holy Bible. In those days, when again a great crowd had gathered and they had nothing to eat, he called his disciples to him and said to them, I have compassion on the crowd because they have been with me now three days and have nothing to eat. This is the Word of God. Luther wrote, Behold, what a sympathetic Christ we have, who even provides food for us. Here new hope is awakened, and man is comforted through the words of Christ when he says, Here they are, and listen to me until the third day. I must now give them also what they need. Here you see that all who faithfully cling to the word of God will be fed by God, for that is the nature and power of faith which flows alone out of the word of God. Therefore let us make a beginning to believe, for unbelief is the cause of all sin and vice, which now abounds on all stations of life. How does it come to pass that everywhere there are so many foolish women and rogues, so many rank impostors, thieves, robbers, usurers, murderers, and sellers of indulgences? It all comes from unbelief. For such men judge alone according to human reason, and the reason judges only according to that which it sees. What it does not see, it does not wish to accept. But Christ wishes to set before us a twofold picture, namely one of faith, that we should not be over-anxious, and also a picture of love, that as he does to us, is anxious about our welfare, feeds and clothes us out of free love, not for the sake of his own advantage or because of our worthiness. So we should also do to our neighbor freely and gratuitously out of pure love. This is beautifully portrayed in the visible picture of the 4,000 men who cling to God by a faith which says, God will indeed feed us. They commend themselves to God and freely lay all their need upon him. Then Christ comes, before they have any care and before they ask him to come, takes all more to heart than they do themselves and says to his disciples, I have compassion on the multitude. In this confidence and hope, let thy faith run its course. Acknowledge that God is thy friend. Flee to him in greatest need. Believe and expect it, and he will help thee. This thou shouldst not doubt. In harmony with this thou shouldst serve thy neighbor freely and gratuitously. God's going to take care of you. This is his promise. Believe it, and in the meantime, take care of your neighbor. Let's pray. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us neighbors to take care of, for where would we be without them? For they also care for us. Though that is not the reason we should care for them. We should care for them simply because you care for us, and you have commanded us to do so. So help us to trust in you and take care of our neighbor, for Christ's sake. Amen. Hope you'll be back with me again tomorrow for Reading the Word with Luther.